From the alternating current system that powers our homes to his revolutionary work in electromagnetism, Tesla's contributions to science and technology have left an unforgettable mark on the world. Hold out other hand. Was conducting the electricity. Our bodies, Mr. Angier, are quite capable of conducting and indeed producing energy. In a moment of candid discussion, Joe Rogan hinted that before his death, Nikola Tesla revealed a terrifying secret that its implications continue to echo through the corridors of curiosity. But what did Tesla unveil in his final moments, and why does it continue to evoke shock and intrigue even today? Join us as we delve into the mysterious depths of Tesla's last revelation, Colorado Springs Magnifying Transmitter. In 1899, Nikola Tesla, the brilliant inventor, found himself in an interesting encounter with what he firmly believed were aliens. Deep into his experiments at the Colorado Springs Laboratory, he created a nifty device called a magnifying transmitter. Its purpose? To send electrical energy wirelessly across the globe. He was on a mission to provide free energy for everyone and revolutionize long-distance communication. One night, as he tuned into his receiver, he heard something extraordinary. The rhythmic sounds, unlike anything earthly, echoed through. Being the curious genius he was, he thought of these sounds like numbers, intentionally transmitted by an intelligent source. His excitement peaked, and he was sure that these signals were not from our planet. He was convinced they hailed from another celestial body, and his money was on Mars. Why did he think these signals were extraterrestrial? Well, for starters, the sounds were peculiar, nothing like the natural noises known at the time. What really got Tesla's gears turning was the mathematical precision of these signals. They weren't random radio noise that Earth's atmosphere could churn out. There was an unmistakable pattern. This distinctiveness led him to a groundbreaking conclusion. These signals were crafted not by Mother Nature, but by intelligent beings from another world. His belief in the extraterrestrial origin of these signals wasn't just a wild guess. To him, these signals were a beacon from intelligent beings, and he was convinced that the key to the source lay beyond our own planet, possibly on the red planet Mars. Tesla wasn't just any inventor. He was a trailblazer in understanding radio and electromagnetic waves. His skills were unmatched, having already shown the world the potential of sending wireless signals across vast distances. In fact, his work set the stage for the radio technology we use today. With such expertise, he was pretty sure he could tell the difference between everyday electromagnetic noise and something extraordinary. This encounter happened during the early days of radio communication when the whole idea was still in its infancy stage. He wasn't just in the game, he was leading it. So, the thought of being the first to catch signals from outer space didn't seem crazy to him, given his unmatched knowledge in the field. Adding to the intrigue was the timing of his claims. Back then, people were buzzing with excitement about Mars and the possibility of life beyond our planet. The late 19th and early 20th centuries were filled with imaginative stories about Martians and space travel, fueled in part by misconceptions like the famous Canali, observed by Giovanni Schiaparelli. Tesla's declaration that he intercepted signals from Mars tapped into the spirit of his time. It was a time when people couldn't get enough of stories about the cosmos and the chance of meeting extraterrestrial neighbors. His claims fit right into this cosmic period resonating with the widespread fascination with the mysteries of the universe. He saw the whole cosmos as this giant web, where energy and information flow all over the place. To him, the universe wasn't just empty space. It was like a huge party with lots of light and life. He really believed that we're not alone in the universe. He thought that sooner or later humans would start chatting with other smart beings out there. This belief got a boost when he caught some mysterious signals, Instead of thinking Earth was a loner, he felt we were part of this big cosmic gang. Now, not everyone bought into his alien signal theory. Some folks said it was just regular stuff from Earth or some natural things. But he was like, no way. He stuck to his guns, thinking his discovery was a sign that we were on the brink of a new understanding of the universe. After that incident, he kept pushing for the idea that we could chat with other planets. Even though he never heard those alien signals again, he didn't give up. That moment stuck with him, 
and became a big deal in how people remember him. He just kept on advocating for the idea that we could unlock the mysteries of the universe through wireless communication. Tesla's AC and Edison's DC. Even though Tesla has been gone for quite some time, we're still benefiting from his brilliant discoveries in our everyday lives. Despite attempts to keep his inventions under wraps, their impact speaks volumes. This genius's contributions cover a wide range, from electricity and robotics to radar and wireless communication. One of his most significant achievements, perhaps the biggest ever, is the creation of alternating current, or AC, electrical systems. This technology played a central role in the famous War of Currents against Thomas Edison's direct current, or DC, systems. In the end, AC proved to be more effective and practical for transmitting electricity over long distances. Today, AC stands as the standard for the global power distribution network. It brightens up our homes, powers various industries, and energizes the digital world. The development of AC power systems, largely attributed to Tesla's visionary thinking, allows us to transmit power across vast distances with minimal loss. Imagine a world where Edison's DC systems won the battle of currents. We might be facing less efficient and more challenging long-distance electrical transmission. His foresight has fundamentally shaped the way we harness and distribute electrical power. It's not just about lighting bulbs. It's about powering our industries and keeping the digital age running smoothly. His influence echoes through time, proving that great ideas persist despite efforts to suppress them. The next time you turn on a light, charge your phone, or enjoy any modern convenience powered by electricity, you can tip your hat to the legacy of Tesla. His inventive spirit continues to illuminate our world, making him a timeless figure in the history of technological innovation. You see, after Tesla's return to New York from Colorado, he wrote a thrilling article for Century Magazine. In it, he shared a method to tap into solar energy using an antenna. He believed this breakthrough could lead to weather control and global wireless communication. The well-known American banker J.P. Morgan got intrigued by his ideas. In a personal meeting, Tesla expanded on the incredible potential, including instant transmission of photos and letters worldwide. He imagined Earth as a vast, interconnected network, like a colossal brain. Captivated by the concept, Morgan offered $150,000 for the construction of the transmitting tower and power station. Tesla knew the sum might not cover his grand plans, but he accepted, starting the Wardenclyffe Tower construction on an 81-hectare plot overlooking Long Island Sound. Named after the generous banker James Warden, the tower aimed for a height of 57 meters with a massive 55-ton steel sphere at its top. A 36.5-meter shaft and 16 iron pipes at 120 meters were planned for harnessing Earth's energy through resonance. However, the funds fell short. Tesla sought more from Morgan, who hesitated due to doubts about success. In December 1901, Marconi transmitted a radio signal across the Atlantic, using some of Tesla's patents. Tesla accused Marconi, but Morgan, swayed by Marconi's cost-effective system, withdrew further support. Tesla persisted, but faced financial and market crashes in 1901, doubling construction costs. Morgan, unswayed, withdrew support, and the project was abandoned. In 1917, the U.S. authorities dismantled the resilient tower, causing Tesla a severe breakdown. Reflecting on his vision's demise, he lamented, It's not a dream. It's a simple feat of scientific electrical engineering, only costly. In 1898, Tesla organized a remarkable event that had a profound impact not only on New York City, but also on the pages of scientific history. Within his modest laboratory, Tesla conducted an awe-inspiring yet unsettling experiment. The building trembled violently, appearing on the verge of collapse due to the powerful vibrations he generated. This was no ordinary test. Tesla aimed to synchronize these vibrations with the fundamental structure of his laboratory. As chaos ensued, Tesla quickly used a simple hammer to disable the generator and halt the catastrophic oscillations. Recognizing the building's vulnerability, he kept the true cause of the disturbance a secret from law enforcement and emergency services, adding an element of mystery to the incident. 
This daring experiment unintentionally drew attention to Tesla's ambitious vision, the Telugu Dynamic Generator. Inspired by the seismic drama, Tesla envisioned a device capable of exploring the Earth's geological mysteries, guiding scientists to hidden mineral deposits beneath the surface. While Tesla couldn't bring his seismic dreams to life, his ideas have had a lasting impact on the scientific community, inspiring present-day scientists and engineers. Tesla's pursuits extended beyond seismic experiments to his quest for global peace. He revealed a revolutionary concept centered on wireless telegraphy to the New York world. His grand vision involved triggering powerful explosions beneath the sea to generate colossal tidal waves capable of incapacitating entire enemy fleets. Newspapers reported with astonishment that Tesla's man-made tidal waves could make even the most formidable naval forces vulnerable. Tesla firmly believed that his invention could usher in an era of universal peace, bringing humanity closer to a world without war. Wireless energy. In the late 1890s, Tesla came up with an intriguing idea. He thought that at high altitudes, where the air is thinner, it might be possible to send electrical energy through the air without using bulky wires. This concept fascinated Tesla and motivated him to prove its feasibility. However, to turn this ambitious vision into reality, he needed financial support. Luckily, two individuals, his close friend Leonard E. Curtis and the wealthy Colonel John Jacob Astor, found his idea intriguing enough to invest a significant $30,000 in his experiment. With their backing, Tesla embarked on an exciting journey. In May 1909, he and his team went to Colorado, choosing a location near Pikes Peak for their experimental station. Tesla, being not only a scientist but also a showman, used his charm to generate public interest. He tantalized journalists with the promise of sending a radio signal from Pikes Peak to Paris, leaving them curious about the details. During his scientific exploration in Colorado, Tesla made a groundbreaking discovery. He observed that when lightning struck the Earth, it generated powerful waves that traveled across the planet. This revelation led him to wonder if the Earth could serve as a massive conductor, allowing the transmission of limitless energy worldwide. To test this revolutionary theory, he aimed to produce electrical waves as potent as lightning itself. This bold quest would become a pivotal moment in the history of science and technology as Tesla stood on the brink of a groundbreaking breakthrough. Tesla's laboratory in Colorado was an extraordinary achievement for its time. The facility featured a retractable roof, revealing the open sky, and a 27-meter-tall wooden tower designed for fire safety. At the tower's pinnacle stood a 43-meter-high metal structure, supporting a sizable copper sphere, a creation by Tesla, the pioneering electrical inventor. The setup may sound like something out of science fiction, but it was Tesla's brainchild. The main highlight inside the wooden tower was a substantial Tesla coil, designed by Tesla himself. Its purpose was to channel powerful electric pulses into the Earth, acting as a lightning rod. Prior to the major experiment, every piece of equipment underwent meticulous checks. Tesla, the mastermind behind it all, instructed his chief mechanic to activate the switch for just one second. As the switch was flipped, the secondary coil sparked to life with blue electric arcs. Tesla, an eccentric scientist of his era, was content with the initial outcome. However, Unsatisfied, he instructed the mechanic to close the switch once again. Suddenly, massive blue electric arcs, each exceeding 30 meters, shot up and down the central coil. Unfortunately, at the experiment's peak, a mishap occurred. The dynamo machine from the El Paso Electric Company, connected to Tesla's creation, couldn't handle the immense power and burned out. This resulted in the entire town being plunged into darkness much to the displeasure of the power station manager. He demanded that Tesla rectify the damage and compensate for the losses. This incident became one of Tesla's remarkable experiments in history. The secret weapon that could have changed history. From a young age, Tesla learned to hate war from his dad. This made him think of smart ways to quickly stop enemies during conflicts. He came up with an idea called the Teleforce, which he shared with the world in 1934 through the New York Times. He said it could wipe out 10,000 soldiers from a crazy far distance of 400 kilometers. 
The device used super-fast metal beams with a ton of power. Even though people wrongly called it a death ray, Tesla insisted it had nothing to do with that. He believed in using particles, not beams, for his invention. But making it real needed a lot of money. Tesla asked JP Morgan for help, but they had issues before, so Morgan said no. Tesla also tried asking the British Prime Minister but got no interest. Undeterred, he reached out to leaders in the US, Canada, England, France, and the USSR, all to make the world more peaceful. To show he was serious, he sent a detailed document explaining a vacuum tube innovation. The Soviets saw the importance of Tesla's ideas and offered him $25,000 to understand his method. It's not clear if he gave them an actual device, but there's documentation and plans he made. Scientists at the University of Adelaide used these to work on a Teleforce prototype. The future might see a high-tech weapon thanks to Tesla's ideas for world peace. In 1898, Tesla showcased an amazing invention at the Electrical Exposition in Madison Square Garden. Back then, people were really into science and cool ideas. With a lot of confidence, Tesla showed off his first working model of a radio-controlled robot that looked like a boat. The audience was super surprised because the boat moved around without any wires connecting it to a controller. This was the start of what we now call robotics. Tesla's radio-controlled boat wasn't just an ordinary boat. It moved through the water really gracefully, and everyone was amazed. Some people even thought Tesla was controlling it with his mind, getting all caught up in the excitement. But in reality, he sent signals to the boat using a small box with control levers. Tesla patented this incredible invention under US patent number 613809. It described the world's first device that could be controlled wirelessly, and it had its own built-in battery. Tesla didn't only think about boats. He imagined his invention could be used in lots of different vehicles and machines. He dreamed of a future where just a few people could control a whole fleet of ships or other vehicles from far away. But not everyone understood what Tesla was thinking. Journalists asked if his invention could be used for military stuff like sinking boats or moving weapons on their own. Tesla really didn't like war, so he felt sad about these questions. He explained that his technology was meant to make life easier, with robots doing the hard tasks. Unfortunately, Tesla's invention was way ahead of its time, and people couldn't really see how practical it could be. But as time went on, history showed us that Tesla's ideas set the foundation for the amazing world of robotics and remote control we have today. In 1919, Tesla had this incredible idea, super-fast airships. Not your usual airships, but futuristic flying machines powered by wireless electricity beaming from towers on the ground. It was truly out of this world. Imagine these high-speed airships cruising over 10 kilometers above Earth, reaching mind-blowing speeds of a thousand miles per hour. Practically speaking, this meant zipping from New York to London in just three and a half hours, faster than today's transatlantic flights. Tesla wasn't just daydreaming. He passionately shared his vision in a 1919 article in Reconstruction magazine. He talked about his commitment to making these speedy airships a reality highlighting a crucial point, their power source. These airships could tap into energy from various power plants, similar to how trains use tracks. It was like having an almost limitless supply of electricity. Tesla's idea was way ahead of its time, but firmly rooted in possible real-world scenarios. Unfortunately, in the early 1900s, people found his grand vision a bit too unbelievable to fully embrace. Tesla's Motionless Generators one of Tesla's inventions that's getting attention lately is a type of generator that doesn't have moving parts. This is practical and has scientists wondering why they didn't think of it sooner. Tesla's work, even though there were attempts to suppress it, led to the creation of these generators. Unlike traditional ones with turbines and mechanical parts, these use a fixed structure. They use the natural properties of materials and manipulate physical principles to create power. These generators make use of phenomena like the piezoelectric effect, thermoelectric effect, and electromagnetic induction. Interestingly, the piezoelectric effect occurs when certain materials generate an electric charge in response to applied mechanical stress. This is cleverly applied in generators that convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. 
Imagine a floor tile with piezoelectric materials that generate electricity when someone steps on it. This is a simple example of how geometry and material science combine to capture energy from everyday activities. Another kind of generator that doesn't have moving parts is the thermoelectric generator, also known as TEG. These devices directly turn temperature differences into electrical voltage using the Seebeck effect. A TEG is made up of thermoelectric materials that produce electricity when there's a temperature difference across them. Engineers can efficiently capture and convert waste heat from industrial processes or even body heat into useful electrical power by designing systems that maximize the surface area in contact with heat sources and sinks. The efficiency of heat absorption and electricity generation in these systems depends on their geometric design. The roots of these motionless generators can be traced back to the 19th century with the discovery of the piezoelectric effect by Jacques and Pierre Curie in 1880 and the Seebeck effect by Thomas Johann Seebeck in 1821. These discoveries laid the foundational principles for modern thermoelectric and piezoelectric generators. However, it wasn't until advances in materials science and a better understanding of solid-state physics in the 20th century that these principles could be effectively applied in practical devices. Another principle employed by these generators is electromagnetic induction, discovered by Michael Faraday in the 1830s. Unlike traditional generators that use motion to alter the magnetic field in a wire coil and induce a voltage, static magnetic generators achieve this without moving parts. They use time-varying magnetic fields or take advantage of the relative motion between the Earth's magnetic field and a conductor. This ingenious approach generates electricity through geometric arrangements and strategic material placement. The development of these technologies has been driven by the demand for more versatile and sustainable energy solutions. Their applications are remarkably broad, ranging from powering remote sensors and electronic devices to providing energy in areas where traditional power generation methods are impractical. The appeal of these generators lies not only in their silent, maintenance-free operation, but also in their ability to harness previously untapped energy sources, converting everyday forces and temperature differences into power. As material science progresses, researchers are creating new materials with improved electrical and thermoelectric properties. These advancements are expanding the capabilities of static generators. Innovations in nanotechnology and the exploration of novel materials like graphene offer exciting possibilities for more efficient and compact energy generators that don't have moving parts. Designing these devices is both an art and a science, requiring a profound understanding of physical principles and a creative approach to maximize energy conversion efficiency. The design process often includes intricate modeling and simulation to predict the impact of changes in shape, size, and material composition on performance. While Tesla mostly focused on electricity and early wireless communication in his work, he also explored mysterious and ancient realms for inspiration. This fascination extended to the pyramids of Egypt, where he believed they were not just tombs, but advanced technological structures with a purpose beyond our understanding. Imagine Tesla, with his sharp eyes and imposing presence, standing before the Great Pyramid of Giza, contemplating possibilities. Known for his ability to envision complex machinery in his mind, Tesla likely speculated on how the ancient architects aligned the pyramids with stars and incorporated precise mathematical constants into their design. He might have considered the idea that the pyramids could function as giant power plants, tapping into Earth's natural energies, an idea aligning with Tesla's vision of providing free energy to the world. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. Before his death, Nikola Tesla revealed a terrifying secret that he attributed to extraterrestrial origins. During a discussion about this great inventor, Joe Rogan let it slip that while immersed in experiments at his Colorado Springs laboratory, Tesla developed a device known as a magnifying transmitter. This apparatus aimed to transmit electrical energy wirelessly on a global scale, with the ambitious goal of providing free energy and transforming long-distance communication. During one evening as Tesla tuned into his receiver, he encountered an extraordinary phenomenon. Unearthly rhythmic sounds reverberated through the apparatus, 
prompting Tesla, in his curiosity, to interpret them as intentional numerical transmissions from an intelligent source. Convinced that these signals were not of terrestrial origin, he speculated they emanated from a celestial body, with Mars being his favored candidate. Tesla's conviction in the extraterrestrial nature of these signals was based on distinct characteristics. The peculiar nature of the sounds, unlike any familiar noises of the time, and their mathematical precision intrigued him. These signals, in Tesla's view, exhibited a discernible pattern that went beyond the randomness of typical radio noise generated by Earth's atmosphere. He concluded that the signals were deliberately crafted by intelligent beings from another world. Tesla's belief was not mere speculation, but a thoughtful analysis of the uniqueness and organized nature of the signals, ruling out the possibility of them being cosmic static. To him, these signals served as a beacon from intelligent extraterrestrial entities, leading him to assert that the key to their source likely resided beyond our planet, possibly on Mars. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Tesla, Bovis, and Laszlo's visions. Many people, including Tesla, have been interested in the idea that pyramids could be sources of power or knowledge. This isn't unique to Tesla. Other influential figures like Graham Hancock and John Anthony West also find the mysteries of Egypt intriguing. Hancock believes ancient civilizations were more advanced than we think, suggesting pyramids worldwide were part of a global network for various purposes. West challenges the conventional dating of the Sphinx and pyramids, proposing they are older and hint at a lost civilization with advanced knowledge. Irvin Laszlo, a philosopher and systems theorist, shares this perspective, seeing ancient structures as potential nodes in a cosmic network connected through the quantum world. Laszlo's theories about the Akashic field, suggesting all points in space and time are interconnected, align with Tesla's ideas about the universe as a vast energetic network. Antoine Bovis, a French hardware store owner and writer on pendulum dowsing, thought that making small pyramid models could keep food fresh. He believed he discovered this through thinking and experiments in Europe, using a pendulum. Inspired by ancient Egyptian pyramids, he thought they weren't just tombs, but machines that could send power without wires. Bovis argued that pyramid shapes naturally collected cosmic energy. According to him, this energy could stop the decay of food like meat and fruits, and also improve their taste and quality, making them less bitter or acidic. In 1935, Bovis shared his discoveries in a self-published French booklet. He also made and sold small cardboard pyramids, claiming they could keep food fresh. Bovis advised people to place food inside these pyramids and align them with cardinal directions. He suggested that these pyramids could have additional benefits like improving health, sparking sexual urges, and causing various effects. Bovis's concept of pyramid power gained popularity in the 20th century and influenced many researchers and inventors. It inspired investigations into pyramid properties for purposes such as sharpening razor blades, aging wine, meditation, healing, and even communicating with aliens. Some of these claims were tested and patented. Bovis had this idea about pyramid power, but many people, including historians and scientists, didn't agree with it. There's no scientific proof that pyramid power is real or that pyramids can keep food fresh or do anything special. The pyramids in Egypt are incredible structures made by clever and creative humans, not magical or mysterious tools. They tell us a lot about the ancient Egyptians' culture, religion, and history. Bovis, despite his visionary ideas, wasn't a genius who invented everything or had supernatural abilities. He was just a passionate guy interested in exploring nature's mysteries and technology's potential. He was a pioneer and a dreamer, not some mystical figure. The Lost Technologies. Carol Durbal, a Czech entrepreneur similar to Tesla, invented a pharaoh's shaving device in 1959. He believed that placing razor blades inside a pyramid-shaped device, which he called the pharaoh's shaving device, would keep them sharp. Durbal thought the pyramid shape could accumulate cosmic energy, preventing the decay of metal like razor blades. He claimed this energy could also improve the quality of shaving, making it smoother and less irritating. Durbal shared his ideas in a booklet called The Secret of the Pyramids and sold the device to the public. 
customers were advised to place their razor blades inside the pyramids, aligning them with cardinal directions. Derbal suggested that, in addition to maintaining sharpness, the pyramids could have other benefits, such as enhancing health, triggering sexual urges, and causing various effects. Derbal's device gained immense popularity and influence in the 20th century, triggering a widespread fascination with pyramid power. This trend inspired numerous researchers and inventors to investigate the properties and potential uses of pyramids. People explored applications like sharpening knives, aging wine, meditation, healing, and even attempting communication with aliens. Some of these ideas and claims underwent testing and were patented. Meet Christopher Dunn, an engineer and author with a fascinating theory about the Great Pyramid in Egypt. Dunn believes this ancient wonder had a unique purpose, not just a colossal structure, but a powerhouse tapping into natural forces. The pyramid, according to Dunn, was a masterfully designed device harnessing Earth's vibrations and the Nile's water to generate energy. The chambers and passages inside, carefully arranged to optimize sound and channel water from the Nile into an underground space. Dunn suggests that within this chamber, a process called electrolysis separated water into hydrogen and oxygen. Now, hold on to your hat. Dunn proposes that the pyramid stored the hydrogen gas in its upper chambers, while the oxygen was released through air shafts. What for? Well, according to him, the stored hydrogen could have fueled a laser, beaming a powerful light through the pyramid's top. What's Dunn's backup for these mind-blowing ideas? He's got his eyes on the pyramid's size, shape, and materials, not to mention the nifty tools ancient builders apparently used. And get this, he draws parallels between the pyramid and modern devices, hinting that the Egyptians might have picked up this tech from a lost civilization predated by a grand flood. In Dunn's world, the ancient Egyptians could have been high-tech wizards, using their pyramid-powered laser for communication, healing, defense, and even exploration. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.